This is Bossy Boosted. Same Bossy, just a little bit faster. I think you mean you want to be dazzled by the mysterious Raven Chura's magic. Over. Oh, I don't need this anymore. No way! Bob Beaver is the Bob Best. He can do anything with his hoop. Like this. Oh, oh yeah! Don't forget about Kangaroo and her violin. She's all like... Way to go, sis! How can the mysterious Ray Ventura top him? Allow me to show you. <laughs> Hello, people of Pleasantburn! Welcome back to the biggest, bestest, better than the rest this live talent show that we know you've all been waiting for. Okay, judges, we just saw Bob Beaver do his incredible twirling tricks. We saw Kangarubin and her out of this world speedy violin playing. Then there was the mysterious Ray Ventura and his dazzling tricks. Mystery! <laughs> and my personal favorite, Hamma Piglet and her speed paintings. <laughs> Who will win the coolest talent show on the planet? The contestant who will win Pleasantburg's God Pizzazz is... Oh, I guess the power's back. Should we watch the show now? No way. We're having too much fun. Yeah. Imagining the show is more fun than watching it. Plus, the show will still be there tomorrow. Exactly. Now, let's find out who won our show. Judges. And the winner is... has oddly good timing. <laughs> <laughs> when you were a baby? You what? Did? Yeah, in fact, lots of these toys used to be mine. I love them all. And mom made you give them to me? No, she didn't make me. I knew how much you'd like them, so I gave you one. <gasps> Seeing how happy it made you, made me want to give you even more. Wow, thanks, Bessie, for the hand-me-downs and for helping me know what to do. Cindy, I hope you're ready for some new toys. You want to give all these toys to Cindy? I only asked you to give her one. I know, but I'd had a lot of fun with them, and now it's Cindy's turn. It's okay. I still have tons of toys to play with. I'm proud of you, Bossy. Cindy, look what your big brother has for you. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, can I give them to Cindy? Cindy! Have I ever told you all the legend of the Pleasantburg Woods Yeti? Yes, Dad. You tell us every year. That's okay. I love hearing the story, and Turtle hadn't heard it before. Is it scary? Not at all. Get Yeti to be amazed. I've heard tell of a magical creature called a Yeti who lives in the Pleasantburg Woods. It'll grant one wish to anyone who finds it. It looks like this. <sighs> but it can only be found one day out of the year, which happens to be tomorrow, the day we are going camping in the Pleasantburg Woods. Why are we in the backyard tonight if we're going camping tomorrow? It was just a practice run, so I can master my super s'mores. You think we'll find the Yeti? You can't find something that doesn't exist. It does exist, and we're gonna find it and get our wishes granted. And if we don't, we'll still have fun hiking, kayaking, and eating s'mores. Okay, time for bed. 
Ugh, I can't sleep. Why can't it be tomorrow, Yeti? I mean, yet. I know, I've never been so Yeti. I mean, ready. Ah, I did it too. We have to find the Yeti tomorrow. But what if it doesn't want to be found? There must be a reason it only comes out once a year. Maybe it's shy. Maybe, but it also grants wishes. And I think it should grant those wishes to us. What's your wish, Turtle? I wish I could play all day without ever getting tired. I'm gonna wish for every superpower in the history of ever and become the ultimate fussy! Don't get your hopes up, little bro. I've never been able to find the Yeti. And I've looked every time since we've gone camping. We cooked all the ingredients, and now we need our master chefs to put the japchae dishes together. Ready, set, japchae! Okay, Bossy, we need to make sure we follow this recipe exactly. Of course, but it needs some space food like maple syrup and cheese slices so it matches our restaurant. Uh, Ran Gran won't like that. It needs to be more like this. That's taking a bit long. My dish is already done. Ran Gran can only eat one dish, so we have to pick one. And I think it should be mine, when it's done. Why don't you two compromise? I'm sure she'll like either dish. I don't think so. <gasps> Grand Gran's here and she's hungry! There's only one way to make this work, giving her my dish! <gasps> Instead of trying to do it our own way. We still can't. Follow my lead. Gran Gran, could you wait outside for a minute and pretend none of this happened? As long as my Tommy and I get more of this japchae. Preferably in a bowl. Great. Now let's get combining. to our restaurant, Gran Gran. This is like a cute space version of my parents' restaurant. I love it. <laughs> Turtle's great Gran Gran and Pop Pop always had different ideas on how to do everything. But in the end, they compromised and that's why their Jap J was the best, right next to yours. We did it, Bessie, we did! The clerk should be right here. All right. Oh, hey, you cured my hiccups. I ate lunch too fast today. I'm looking for a star map. Do you have one? Here you go. Our final stop is the Wood, Wood, and More Wood store. That's the most boring store in the history of boring. I know, but let's be bored for Dad. Closed. No! We are so sorry, Dad. No, I'm sorry. Today's the day Grizzly's Comet flies over Pleasant Earth, just like it does every 30 years. I wanted to surprise you by building a telescope to watch the comet together, just like I did with my dad. That is an awesome surprise! But we won't get to do it for another 30 years? <laughs> hmm. There's gotta be a way to save Dad's surprise. But how? Hi, kids. I heard what happened with Dad, and I think I have a way to help you surprise him. <gasps> Dad, your surprise is ready. Take off your blindfold. Surprise! We put up the tent, just like you and Papa had it in the photo. And I know we don't have a telescope, but maybe this time we can use my Boom Boom Super Satong binoculars. You Kitaroonies didn't have to do this. Thank you. The comet is coming. Who wants to take a look? Ooh. Ah. I 
almost forgot the most important surprise of the night. Bear hug! <laughs> Best surprise ever! I can't wait to do this again in 30 years! The way of the Grand Grand isn't working. It's time for the way of the Bossy. We're building a time machine. That's a great idea, Bossy. Let's build a time machine together. Great. Follow me. But Grand Grand, I was really enjoying your way. I know, Kobukiya, but Bossy's way will work too. You'll see. I've done this before, and I know exactly what we're going to need. You do? Tell us, Grand Grand. We'll need pillows, a bunch of clocks, newspapers, as many plushies as you can grab, something red, and a VHS tape. I think we've got all those things here. Perfect! Let's go! <laughs> We should grab more red things just in case. A VHS tape. What's that? Let me over here. So how about here? Oh, look what I found. We're, We're done, Grand Grand. The way of the bossy sure is working. And I'm impressed you found a VHS tape without my help. Oh, that was one of the red things we found. We thought this was a VHS. Well, we needed one of those too. Now let's build this pillow fort time machine without any distractions. Yay! A time machine is hard work. It's making me sleepy. Uh. Me too. Oh, but we can't stop. We have to keep going for the boom boom super saw, Tom. <sighs> oh no, we fell asleep. We gotta finish our pillow fort time machine so we can travel to tomorrow. It is tomorrow! Looks like the way of the bossy was the same as the way of the grand grand. What? How? When? Why? Who? It's like I said, the best way to be patient is by thinking about something else, like building a time machine. Now, let's go get those cards! We did it! The music is perfect! We've got shiny balloons everywhere! Our outfits look amazing and distracting. Oh! Ozzy, ah! are you sure you're ready to skate? We could just put on our spectacular another day after we practice and get really good. No way! The show must skate on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, All right. Go. I'm skating, I'm skating, I'm skating, I'm skating! Why aren't you skating? Let's see who put the skating in Skating Spectacular, little bro! Okay, I'll skate! Right now! No now! No now! No now! Oh no! Ah, again, again, again! Thanks for saving me, even though that sign was just cardboard. Your skating was amazing, but I messed everything up. Mm. Wrestling? I'm hugging you. What's going on, Bossy? I just wanted to show everyone how amazing I am at skating. The practicing is so hard. It made me want to quit. Bossy, practicing makes every bear want to quit. It's harder than the ground you fall on. But you didn't quit. Of course I did. Lots of times. But I love skating, so I kept trying and falling again and again and again. But then I stopped falling as much and started doing things like this. See? Again, it's better on skates. If you want to learn, I could hook you up with a pretty good teacher. It's me. Then let's get practicing. All right, Bossy. Let's try that spin. I'm doing it. I'm skating and spinning. Hey, Turtle, what are you doing tomorrow? Want to put on another spectacular ploy? Um, maybe I should practice a little more first. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go in and calmly ask Mom if she's seen my plushie so we don't waste any time. It was me, girl, me. Three! How was that calm? We got a couple questions for you, plushie napper. Oh, are we playing detective now? You'll never catch me. <laughs> you can't let her get away. Mom. <laughs> okay, okay. 
I give up. You can have Owl back. Owl? But we're looking for Falcon. Falcon went missing, and we found this rattle you had at the scene of the crime. Why'd you do it, Mom? Couldn't you just be happy dancing with your owl? Wait, we're not playing a game? I'm sorry, but I don't know where Falcon is. Do you or Owl have any idea where we could look? Hmm. I'm surprised to see the rattle. Owl and I thought Cindy had it when we put her to bed. Five minutes till bedtime. Uh, I'm never gonna sleep again. <laughs> yes, you are, Missy. We're gonna find Falcon, because I'm gonna finally think this through. Turtle, let's go over everything we know so far. This looks like Falcon on the couch where we found the rattle. And your dad said your mom gave the rattle to Cindy. Your mom said she thought Cindy had it when she put her to bed. I'm stumped. I'm not! I know where Falcon is! Follow me! Aww. Who'd ever think somebody so cute could be a plushie stealer? I'll never trust a cute bear again. Now you two are jumping to conclusions. Cindy didn't steal Falcon. Mom gave Cindy the rattle, but she must have dropped it and it rolled under the couch. Then Missy put Falcon down next to her and she started playing with him. That's when Mom went to put her to bed. Cindy thought you gave her Falcon. It's the perfect crime that isn't a crime at all. Now that's how you solve a mystery. Now let's go get Falcon back. No, as long as Falcon and Cindy have someone to sleep with, I'll be okay. You two are the best detectives I know. <laughs> There's gotta be a way to get your baby back and be a very good friend. What was the last rule my mom said I had to do? Give everyone a chance to play. That's it! Turtle, put on your dancing shell. Putty Bear, we challenge you to a game of Boogie Beat Throwdown. I crush you with these dance moves. Then let's make it interesting. If you win, you get to keep the toy, and we'll do what you say, forever. But if you lose, you told my mom and dad I was the very best friend in the history of friendship. Psh, yeah, right. Let's boogie. I'll try not to beat you too bad, bossy. Oh, I never said who you were up against. It's not me. It's the Boogie Beat Throwdown Champion of Pleasantburg, Turtle! This is for my baby. Whatever. Let's just get to me winning. May my bestie win. Go! and have him pick you up early. Bossy Turtle, I'm sorry. I left one thing out of the very good friend game plan, and it's important. You don't have to play with kids who are being mean to you. Even my cousin? Even your cousin. My bestie's got my back. My bestie's got my back. Go, 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 my jealousy never got this bad. Bossy, we're sorry you feel this way, but we're making Turtle feel welcome. You should do the same. But, but, no one's noticed all the cool things I've done tonight, and it's ruining Turtle's first sleep over here. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to make you jealous. I was just having so much fun. I guess I ruined her sleepover. You know what? I think I'll just head home. No! You didn't do anything wrong. Turtle, I don't want the spotlight this way. I gotta save our sleepover! Huh? 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 Turtle's here! Shell and doll! Tonight's the night! He deserves it all! Cause he's the bestest bestie ever! And he deserves all the spotlight! He's the winner of the swimmers! The captain of the napkins! The dancer with the answer! And a major part of this family! Yeah. That was amazing! Yeah. Turtle, will you please? 
please give our sleepover a second chance? Turtle, 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 turtle. Let's keep this sleepover going. Ooh, sleepover! You're the bestest bestie there is. I'm sorry I got jealous. Aww. <laughs> it's okay. Now how about we really sing that duet together before we go to bed? Of course. But there's one more bear who should be up here. class. Putting on a play requires a lot of teamwork, and I bet the school play could really use another bear, too. All right, Roller, let's rehearse that scene from the top. Hi, mermaid number one. Ahoy, mermaid number two. <gasps> I'm so lost, I'm going in circles. I. we need a map to our map. <laughs> <laughs> Are you mermaid number one again? I am, if you'll take me back. I'm sorry. I dropped out of the school play because I didn't get the part I wanted. I should have stuck with it and helped you all put on the best show. As a team. And we would love to have you be a part of our play. Yeah. And now it's the moment we've been waiting for. We are going to do the show in front of our families! Yay! 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 <laughs> ah, I'm Bossy's mom! I can reach doorknobs, give really good hugs, and change diapers slowly but efficiently. And I'm Bossy's baby sister. I don't know how to say words, and I like to scream and poop. A lot. <laughs> Hello, person who works here who I've never met before. My super cool son told me you took our car. I'm here to take it back. So you're the mom! So you're the mom! Well, here's your cart! Goodbye, adorable baby. Goodbye. Uh, goo goo gaga, me baby. Oh, so cute. Who's the cutest baby? Who's a cute patoote? <laughs> See you later. Phew, I can't believe that worked. I feel bad for tricking him, but... Whoa! <laughs> this is like a fun amusement park ride. <laughs> Turtle. Now, can some bear tell me how this all happened? It's my fault, Mom. I accidentally ripped Turtle's gummy guardian card, so I tried to fix everything on my own. It's okay, but next time ask for help. You'll have to come up with another way to get Turtle a new card. Bossy! Dinner! It's taco night! Bissy? No, sweetie. Bissy's at Ginger's for a sleepover. Bissy! What's up, little sis? Bossy? <laughs> Why are you dressed like Bissy? Boss Bissy! Thank you, Sydney. I'm Boss Bissy, the other older sibling. Just wearing 
Missy's clothes doesn't make you older. If I wasn't older, could I do this? Now I'm older, feeling bolder, ready to do all the big bear things. Boss Missy, King Tar Solo, yeah! Okay, Boss Bissy. We'll let you see what it's like to be older. Now, can some bear pass the gochujang, please? You and Bissy like your tacos spicy. Can I have some on my taco, too? Are you ready for that heat? If Bissy is, Boss Bissy is, too. Mm. Oh. You okay, Boss Bissy? <sighs> I'm uh, sweaty from chewing so much. <sighs> Okay, Cindy, it's way past your bedtime. In fact, it's almost Bossy's bedtime. But not Boss Bissy's bedtime. We older bears get to stay up late. You're right. Say goodnight, Cindy. Cindy! Older bear win! Late bedtime keeps our soul low! Yeah! I shouldn't have played that two-hour guitar solo last night. Just need to rest my older bear eyes. Morning, Boss Bissy. How'd you like to mix the pancake batter today? I'm making the batter. What do you mean? Sorry, Dad. It's okay, Boss Bissy. Now that you're older, you clean up your own mess. What? Oh. On Sulang, young people bow to their elders three times to show respect. Yeah! I did five, and you guys didn't even get started. See, Green Grand? That's extra respect. It's only supposed to be three, but I appreciate your enthusiasm, Bossy. In return for showing respect, your elders give you an envelope. In it, you will... Bet I'm going to be the first one to mail mine. You don't mail those, Bossy. Grand Grand gives us money for so long. I knew that. We celebrate so long with games like this one. You take the yute sticks and roll them. Then you can... I place Sir Pudding Puddle Song. Bossy, do you know how to play yute? Of course he does. He's an expert. It's not the same game as Super Sot Tong. I... I... <sighs> I don't know as much about Soul Lawless as Crane Grand and Turtle do. Happy New Year! Bossy, what are you doing in here? Uh, how come our family celebrates Korean New Year with ice cream and fun hats, and not with dok or hun books? Uh, why don't we celebrate the right way, like Turtle and Crane Grand do? There is no right or wrong way to celebrate Korean New Year. Grand Grand's way is just more traditional, like they do in Korea. But our family does it a little differently. Does that mean we're not really Korean? Of course we're Korean. You know what the most important part of any holiday is? The presents! <laughs> not exactly. It's sharing food, laughter, and stories with your friends and family. Mm. Now come on, I bet everyone's wondering where we are. time and doing it right. Or we try one more Bossy Bear Super Speedy Shortcut. This might be the best shortcut I've ever come up with. We're gonna fly my mess out of here. Oh yeah, I did it, I did it, I really, really did it. And I cannot believe it worked. Me neither. <laughs> and look, the sun hasn't set, which means it's kite time. Bossy, we saw your room and now that it's clean, Strange. Bossy, 
When we said to clean your room, we meant to put everything in its proper place, not send it into the sky so it makes a mess across Pleasantburg. I'm sorry. I try to take shortcuts that clean faster, but it only made my mess bigger. I should have listened to Turtle and took my time cleaning. And that's just what we'll do. We'll go around the neighborhood and clean up the mess the right way, no matter how long it takes. Just enough time left to fly a kite before the sun sets. Isn't that right, boys? <laughs> Guess kite flying will just have to wait for this nap to be over. You can ask your parents to subscribe to the Nick Jr. YouTube channel for new videos every day. And find more of your favorite shows on TV on Nickelodeon and the Nick Jr. channel.